Okay. Back in the saddle again. The saddle meaning, well, I'm in Virginia. <laughs> good, old, good old Virginia. <laughs> At my, uh, uh, well, my ADUS reality. Anticipate. So here we go. Hey, look. Since I'm in here, oh, well, let me. Look, I got something. They get this thing, you know, wherever you are now, they deliver stuff to your, you know, to your door. You know, so my sister has this, I forget the name of the company they do. They got this, uh, I saw this, uh, they see Dona Masala Chai Concentrate. Masala Chai Concentrate. So I said, hey. Then I, so I said, oh, I know, it's, I know what this is. I said, I know what this is. I knew what I knew what it was, you know. It's ingredients. That's a real ingredients. Uh, filtered uh, water, uh, just water. Sugar, cinnamon, that's what I smell. Uh, ginger, uh, cardamom, that's what I also smell. Organic black tea, uh, molasses, uh, black pepper, cloves, citric acid. So I smelled the cloves and whatever. So anyway, so I, I got it well, you know. I'm not gonna deny it, so I'll pour a little bit of it in there. You're supposed to have half of this, and, but it's too small a bottle for that. Half of this is half of, excuse me, always do that. I'm the only one drinking out of this. Half of this, and then have, they say milk, put add milk. I, say, I don't do milk. However, well, I do goat's milk if I have goat's milk. However, what I do do, I will do chocolate cow's milk. So, yes, the same company. Oh, Overwise, and then the Overwise Dairies, chocolate, Reduced fat milk. Every once in a while, I do chocolate milk. So I'm gonna do chocolate milk with that stuff. There we go. Hey, every once in a while, I do chocolate milk because, because you know, I had that uh, what do you call that lactose intolerance. You know, when I was when I was a kid, they had to give me goat's milk. But I get that lactose. Do you know? I read something about some goat thing. I was eating some goat thing, but they said, uh, you know, they uh, they do goats more goats around the world than than anything else. I mean, the people drink more goat's milk than they do cow's milk. I don't know. But anyway, I know that cow's milk goes right through me. So this is like, that's it. Mmm. Plus, I like the way it tastes. Look. Okay, now the big thing now, I really don't want to deal with this politics, but let me let me deal with it a little, a little as I want, as I can. You know, the big thing is Trump and impeachment, blah, 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 and all that stuff. Now, here's the way I look at it. <clears throat> And I've been thinking about this. I've actually been thinking about this for weeks. Not, not Trump. I never think about Trump. And everybody else doesn't. And he's got people in this spin. You go wallowing around with Trump, blah, 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 blah. To me, he's just, in the, he's just an extreme white man. In other words, a white man mentality per kind of person. You know what I mean? And, but we all have this white mentality. Not we all, but, you know, most people, they have this white mentality. For instance, remember when I said, do, do, can you see this on here? Okay. Remember, I said that. Let me, let me move this over just a little bit so I make sure that you can, you can, you can see what I'm talking about over here. I'm sure it picks up. Oh, first of all, remember when I said black people don't want to be wrong or wronged, and white people want to be right and not righted. Just bear that in mind. But here's the thing. I should say I shouldn't say black. I'm a, a mentality, a real black mentality, right? African American AD or whatever. A real black mentality. Doesn't want, I find this in Africa too, doesn't want to be wrong or wrong. A real white mentality wants to be right and not righted. Okay, let's deal with mentalities. Now, a white mentality has made a system. White mentality has made a system, and, and since they're, they're white, they made a system, the Anglos, of racist white supremacy. They birthed that, or they developed that. Let's put it that way. Actually, they birthed it because I comes to come down to Romans, the Roman, the Roman people. Even though they were influenced by those white people, that from North, and the Roman people. <laughs> That's the royalist kind of system. You know what I mean? I guess we had some royals before them. Yeah, I guess you had royals, so you always had this thing. But it doesn't matter. I don't know. I don't go back that far. Okay, I let other people go that far. Anyway, this system that's been developed. Whoever, whoever the grab hold of it. You, you, know, you know, it's like when, when the Chinese grab hold of something, they, they hide it for a little while, perfect it, you know, or do things to it, and then they bring it up and say, hey, we did it, the Chinese did this, you know, that kind of thing. You know, that, there's that kind of thing. You hold it some cultural folds a while, and say, hey, look what we did. Nah, you got it from someplace else. Point is, a system of Anglo-racist white supremacy. Now, you can, 
Now, since the Angles is a nice system, because then, you know, you get some benefits when you have that system, you know, that mentality. You can get that mentality, you get that system. What happens, anybody can come in. Latinos can come in there, or, you know, whatever you want to call those folks, right? Chinese can come in there on that system and then take, take hey, you know, black people can come in on that system, Africans, Indians, Asians, Caribbeans, anybody can come in on that system, the system of whites, racist white supremacy, because that's what capitalism is, okay? Now, and thinking all that, here's what I was thinking. Here's what I was thinking. You ready for this? Follow me on this, right? You know how you know how right now ADOS, what we're trying to do is influence the Democratic Party. I don't know why, but that's what we're trying to do. That's you know, we get them to do that, da, 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 da. And then when you vote, you know, we consist that nobody's uh, is good up top, you know, you just put it right in ADOS. That's the strategy, right? And you vote down part, down, you know, down ballot, whatever it is. So right now I've got somebody voting in my area. Uh, next, I guess it's next Tuesday. Is voting, so I'm gonna I gotta go. I gotta look around all weekend and see who's, so, so, you know, pay attention and maybe they have some rally someplace or somebody talking someplace from trying to get there and see, uh, throw a little question and I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I've been thinking. Everybody's always talking about a third party. You know, the Green Party. We're gonna do a third party. What we don't realize. Is black people, ADOS, we are the third party. When I say the author, the, it's called the third influence, the third column. I don't know what you want to call it. I, let me say the third influence it sounds much better than you know, other stuff. Sounds militaristic. Anyway, the third influence. Now, what this means, as a black person, even if you're in the Republican Party or, or, or you're in the, whatever party, or you're in no party, right? When you vote, you write ADOS in if there's nobody you want, right? And you could do this on the Republican side, too. Now, remember, when Donald Trump... Donald Trump hey, look, y'all don't understand. Donald Trump is smarter than you think, okay? I first noticed that he was smarter. Now I want to talk about that. But what has he done for black people? What has he done for black people? <clears throat> he's done a lot against black people. That's true. But but, but he, like, he's getting some black talking points. Remember, he's the one that, 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 that get a pardon for Jack Johnson. He's the one... That, uh, that that invited the black preachers to the thing, some celebrities to the thing, you know, hanging out with the big celebrities. People don't see that stuff. Okay, he's the one. I think he just he just got some sort of award on a black on a HBCU campus. Wasn't the, he on that campus? He got some sort of award for or he gave them some. I don't know what he did. Did something on the award. So so the backdrop is the HBCU campus. You know, and if the president of the United States want to come to your campus, you can't say don't come to the campus. Okay, fine. Leave that apart. Leave that, leave that alone. Remember, he's the one at the White House got all these young black Republicans, you know, they, 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 they had them come to the White House. And at that meeting of young black Republicans or black audience, right? Now, people don't report on this, right? I saw this when I first happened. I think it was at ADOS conference when I saw it. That's, I, saw, I, was in, I was in Louisville when I saw this. And then when I heard it come out, and some other people mentioned it, but they didn't mention they mentioned that he said this, but they didn't mention the backdrop. You know, he was talking to an all black, young black audience. And what did he say? You all built this country. He was the first president. You know, you all built this country. You know, I mean, Barack Obama said we built the White House, but they didn't say you built this country. You know what I'm saying? OK, so here's my point. Point two. So he comes up with this thing. Basically, he's saying like he, he when it comes time for election time, he can keep on pulling stuff out. Oh, but I just, I just, I just, I did talking points, and then you got to follow Sue Waller with him like that, you know. But here's the thing: I'm thinking like, hey, even black Republicans, you can say I'm still ADOS because remember, remember why sex. Remember I told you the guy said so. Sometimes I'm Democrat, sometimes I'm Pan I'm a Black Panther, but I'm always black. Remember, no matter what you are, you can be Republican, but you always black, and that's an effective. You understand what I'm saying? So what happens? You can write ADOS in if you. Let me. I'm sorry. Let me talk to black Republicans. Black, black, black Republicans. If you know that Donald's gonna win in your area anyway, right? You know he's gonna win. Okay, in your area. I'm not talking. Well, I'm not gonna. People get upset if I say he's gonna win because he's gonna win. You know. If you know whatever area you say, oh, this is terribly Trump area, he's gonna win. So what you do when you go to you just write in ADOS, even if you're black Republican, you just write ADOS. Why? Because you can republic, you can be Republican, you can be Democrat, you can be Green, you can be socialist, you can be um I, I don't know, a libertarian, you can be whatever, 29th party, right? But you're always black. <laughs> See, ADOS, but you're always black. Personally, let me say one more thing, political thing. I say ADOS. But first of all, I just I just like I, I, I like taking my marching orders from 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 Yvette and, and Antonio because you know they're so much fun. When I say fun, I shouldn't say it like that. I don't want to degrade them. But you know they're so strident, you know, which is good. 
which is good. No, you know, take your orders from somebody who's giving you marching orders. You know, so politically, I'm with ADOS, right? But you know, I love Tariq. Tariq is funny. He's a comedian, right? But he's also true. He knows some English. You know what I mean? So I'm sort of like I'm foundational Black American. Um, I'm, I'm foundational American. Um, 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 ADOS, it's all the same. It's like it's all the same. But you know, I get entertained from Black Truth. I get entertainment from all kinds of uh, Afro synergy, Af Afro synergy, all, all kinds of people I listen to because they fun to me. You know what I mean? But if I'm gonna really be serious, you know, I got to have fun when I'm doing stuff, right? So I take all this stuff into into play, right? I'm doing my little thing on on on, on YouTube, not this channel exactly, you know, on my interview, but but I, but but when I'm answering comments and stuff like that, I'm having loads of fun doing that, loads of fun. So anyway, I just want to say that. Oh, one more thing, one more thing, because this is not on an ADOS channel. I have this my ADOS playlist, right? Then I have my interview playlist. My interview playlist, please pay attention. Go to the interview playlist thing on this channel because there's a lot of interesting interviews that goes through there. I'm, I'm about to post something from the system, maybe tomorrow or something like that. But one of the things I did, maybe it's, maybe it's also have a motivation questions and motivations playlist. I, I, I was one on that list. I did a uh, I did a, a talk. I was at a church, uh, Trinity Church in in in, uh, in, uh, in Highland Park, New Jersey, and it was a really good talk. I'm not saying because I did it, because when I when I listened to it back, I'm saying, oh, there's some interesting points. So anyway, so go to that. I'll list that. I'll list that there, so you can hear what I said. There's like only 20 minutes. Come on, this is this is. Well, this should be less than 20. Let me stop right now. So that's it for me. T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from a reality. In Virginia, IA, of the ADOS, that would be the American descendants of chattel slavery.